Supposed to, but um, it's a big test for us and it's a big game and I can't wait to play. What makes Jordan uh, special about the uh, He's Jordan. He'll take three people if you need to. Um, he frees up a lot of people for me to make plays and Justin and everybody else. So um, having somebody like that clog up gaps and take care of everybody else is, is tremendous. Do you see him developing into a good pass rusher one of these days? That, no, he's been proven in the past couple weeks. Um, he's winning in pass, rep, uh, uh, pass rush reps a lot, a lot more. Um, he's been working with Coach Joe and stuff outside of practice. Um, I mean, even at practice, he's doing extra reps like when he doesn't have to. So um, just a little stuff like that here and there. He's definitely trying to improve in his game, and we see it a lot on film. How, how do you describe his personality off the field? <laughs> he's a goofball. He's a big goofball. Give me one goofy thing he's done. Uh, I see Mac. Well, just Mac walking around in the, in the locker room with towels was pretty funny because he'll just come up to you and talk to you like he just doesn't have a towel. I'm like, bro, put some clothes on first if you come talk to me. But um, just little stuff like that. He's always just funny. Um, I remember when we go to hotels and stuff, so we always have good laughs. So. Does he snore? No, no. That's the reason why. Yeah, Defoe snored. I, I, I room with Defoe before. Defoe's the biggest snore ever. Mac does not snore, so I can sleep. What do you expect the environment to be like on Saturday in Austin Stadium? What are you hoping for? Everything. Um, it's college game day, so I know everybody's going to be here. Um, it's going to be broadcasted everywhere, so um, all eyes going to be on us, and we got to perform. You're one of the only few guys on this team that's played on a game of this magnitude before. Sure. Is there much discussion with the younger guys of don't get jacked too high up before a game starts? No, everybody has to come out with the same intensity, same same flyer, um, and we just got to match it. Um, no matter if they're on the sideline trying to hype us up or we're on the game, and we got to come off and, you know what I'm saying, hype them up if they got to get in. So um, either way, we got to push each other and make sure everybody has a fire up and, and we just turned up. What do you make of Stanford's offensive line? Oh, uh, the same same old line, pretty much. Um, they're, they're real aggressive, real, real intuitive in, in the run game and everything. So um, I, I'm, they come out blocking pretty hard. So same stuff we've always seen, nothing nothing we haven't much seen before. So just got to come out and attack. Do you like taking that on, on that kind of challenge? Definitely, definitely. Um, I hate teams that just like to pass a lot. I mean, I like it because I get the pass rush, but um, testing the run game a lot with us is, is a big help because we've been trying to stop the run, and that's been our main focus. So um, it's been a big test for us. You always want to set the edge, but how important is it this week, especially with Bryce Love, the potential he has if he can turn the corner to get upfield? Yeah, setting the edge this week is going to be a big thing for us. Make sure we're maintaining gaps, maintain leverage, and um, we just got to fly around and run to the ball. That's a big thing this week. A lot of teams that uh, got after them, they ran to the ball a lot and had good effort, so that's another thing we have to do. How do you kind of assess